so it's me your little boy Ricky Samson good morning to all my amazing chosen one wherever you are you know I truly appreciate you all for your effort towards our China you know it is God doing you know I have something special for us today they never believe in you but right now they are secretly looking up to you you know let me tell you a story of a man called joseph i know that majority of us know the story of this young amazing word faithful a man that filled you with what with faith you know there's something that i love about this church or the word of god the bible said faith is the substance of things hoped for an evidence of things not seen what does that tell you is that despite of all that you know joseph passed through in life he was still able to do it to conquer succeed persistent you know i always tell us this no matter the critical situation around you no matter what you are going through persistence is the solution nothing like lucky nothing like luck it is called persistence that is why failures fail win and win and one thing i love about the choosing is that we don't quit that's why i'm here to tell you they never believe in you they never hope in you they never believe that one day you will say you will progress but believe me right now people who have been hoping to see how you will end People who have been, you know, thinking that you are going to end like this, you are going to end like that. Believe me, many of them are shocked of ways. Many of them are surprised. Why? Because what God is doing in your life, the life that God has given to you, the blessing of God over your life, the, the miracle that God is pumping in your life, is what is what is something that that do or that frustrate them you may be thinking that things are not working the way it ought to you may be thinking that things are not moving or going the way you expect it but believe me there are people around you who never believe in you listen the moment they throw joseph away the brothers believe that that will be the end of joseph manifestation there are some certain things that may, may, many of us have passed through, which a lot of people never believe that you will overcome. <laughs> That's how the Bible says we, we are wounded by his stride. And, you know, it, by, we, are what, we are delivered by his what, stride. So everything about us, Christ has already laid it on the cross. And he made the, a, 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 a clear word pronunciation and said it is what it is finished that is why no matter how many there are that come against you god is not after who hate you <laughs> that is why if you are a choosing one and you are still scared of people who are talking bad of you or who dislike you or who don't like you it's just like you're wasting your time why because god is not after who hate you God is not after who is against you. God is not after who don't support you. God is not after who don't want you to progress. What God is after, I always say this, God is after that thing that is within you. You know, I do used to tell some of my friends that no matter how hard life may be, God is not after the toughness or the economy in your country or the situation around you. What God is after, are you still holding that feet? That's why Jesus said, with faith, you can say to this mountain, be removed. So what am I trying to tell you is this. They never believe in you. But with what they are seeing right now, that is the main reason why a lot of people are mad. That is why majority of people around you, many of them are shocked. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people are there majority of them are absolutely was shocked because what they are seeing right now is something that they never expect from you it's something that they never prayed for it's something that they never think of so your sources is really pissing a lot of people out there your growth 
You know, when Jesus was walking on the sea, after all that Jesus had done, they still could, imagine he hid the sick, he raised the dead, he hid the cripple, he hid the woman of issue of blood, he, he healed all kinds of diseases. And they put him in the what in the prison with two men called Jesus the Batibas. And they said, Which of them do you want us to do or to crucify? They, they said, We prefer the one that do or that is killing us rather than the one that is saving us. What does that tell you, choosing? You don't need to be afraid of who is against what God is doing in your life. You don't need to be panicking because the truth is this someone up there will surely hate you for the sake of Christ. Someone up there will surely hate you for the sake of God. So the main, the, the truth is this. You need to understand the fact that not everyone will believe in you. Not everyone will agree with your faith. Not everyone will do it. We, we put that trust in you. There are some people up there who have already concluded you as a failure. But right now, many of them are what are short of ways. Many of them are wondering what kind of person is this? What is happening? What is going on? Because what they never expect, what they never believe, what they never hope for, is exactly what they are saying. So there may not be the rain, there may not be the wind, but your valley is filled with water. <laughs> you have to say, so that is the main reason why they will never be, what, be happy with you. Because everything about you is what is flourishing. May God bless you. You are blessed.